It's a gorgeous fall day in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and I'm going to take you on a driving tour today, starting on the west side of town, coming all the way down to Portage. I'll show you some neighborhoods, what kinds of housing that you can get here, as well as drive through some shopping malls, and point out some things that are of interest. So join me on this gorgeous fall day in Michigan while I show you around my hometown of Kalamazoo. We are starting at Jakeway Real Tours, which is where my office is located on 221 South Drake Road. It's about 65 degrees today. It's Monday, October 11th, 2022, and it's around two o'clock in the afternoon. Right now we're heading south on Drake Road to Arboretum Parkway. We're less than five miles to the center of downtown Kalamazoo. And we're gonna turn left up here at this stoplight. Over to the right is Parkway Flats, which are corporate relocation apartments for temporary housing. These are luxury apartments that were built in 2018 they're pet friendly and this community is surrounded by lots of green space with direct access to Arboretum Trail. Next up is Linden Grove Middle School for 6th, 7th and 8th graders. It's a $24 million project that was built in 2009. It's part of the Kalamazoo Promise, which is a unique scholarship program. A graduate that meets residency requirements gets a scholarship that pays for their college tuition at over 60 Michigan colleges and universities. Now we're entering Walden Woods, which is a luxury condominium community located on 80 acres of woodland and rolling meadows where 40 acres are preserved in its natural state. This development is just a sampling of the different housing that's offered. There are duplex style condos starting at around 400,000, one car attached garages, everything's on one level, and they have basements. Here's an example of some townhomes. These are not all that common in Kalamazoo like they are in other parts of the country. But again, you can see that they also have attached garages and they all have basements. But these are very gorgeous apartments, condos, townhouses. They have high quality materials and they are highly desirable. There's a pool house for the area. And now we're turning on to Arboretum Parkway, heading back to Drake Road. And again, you'll see the green space and all the walking trails, just a really nice development. And then we're going to be coming up to what's called the Sprout on your right, and they offer quality child care and preschool for children in the Kalamazoo and Otsego areas for children from six months up to the fifth grade. Okay, we're gonna turn left on Drake and head south. Speed this up a little bit. But there are apartment complexes on both sides of Drake here. And as we get to the bottom of this hill, it's the intersection of Drake and West KL Ave. If you go left, it takes you to Western Michigan University. And if you go right, 
you head into Ashtamo. Amtrak trains do come through and on occasion you'll get stopped by one of the trains, but they're usually flying by at like 100 miles an hour. So the wait isn't all that long. Here we are at the corner of Drake and Michigan Avenue and we're turning right and if you continue on this road it will take you to West Hills Athletic Club which is owned and operated by Western Michigan University. They have tennis courts, pickleball courts, there's a fitness center and it's just really a great place to go. Tanning beds um, <laughs> if that's what you're into. But I'm going to take you into the shopping mall up here. There's Field and Stream over to the left that you can't see right now, but the big parking lot is for Costco. There's Trader Joe's, Olga's Kitchen, which is a great place to get some authentic Greek food. There's Old National Bank. There's a massage therapist up here and a burger joint. So we're gonna head back to Drake and go south. And across the way is more shopping. There's an at-home store, more banks. There's a bowling alley and a bunch of other different restaurants. So we're gonna cross over Stadium Drive. And if you go right, you can jump on 131, which runs the entire length of the state from north to south. And it actually was our state's first highway. And if you go left here, that takes you into downtown Kalamazoo. So on the southeast corner, over to the left, is the Asylum Lake Preserve. It's a 274 acre parcel that's owned by Western Michigan University that's never gonna be developed and it serves as a research area for professors and students, pretty cool. It's a great place to walk your dog, ride bikes, enjoy the outdoors. And it can be accessed from the Winchell neighborhood. There's actually a stop on the trail in the Winchell neighborhood for when the Kalamazoo Marathon comes through. And residents of that neighborhood actually host a quote, bacon station, where they cook like 50 pounds of bacon for the runners because it's the halfway point on the marathon route. So this is what's called Business Technology Research Park or BTR for short. And you can see that it has a lot of green space and walking trails. And it's actually where Western Michigan University put their engineering school. BTR Research Park used to be called Lee Baker Field, and he was a Western alumni that played numerous leadership roles in Kalamazoo's community. But BTR Research Park is a $70 million top of the line engineering complex, and it's one of Michigan's tech hubs known throughout the state as Smart Zones, and it opened here in 2003. There's private sector firms located throughout the park. There's over 40 businesses which have generated more than 1,400 jobs in our area. And one thing I'll point out is when you're driving down US 131 and you notice that massive solar panel garden, I believe there's like 4,000 panels. Well, over to the right, here on Western's engineering complex is where those panels are located. And then Western also put their soccer complex here. So this is home to Western Michigan University's men's and women's soccer team. Okay, we're gonna head east on Parkview Avenue towards Parkview Hills. Again, on the left is the Asylum Lake Preserve, which is 274 acres of undeveloped land. And over to the right is BTR Park. And coming up on your right is the Gibbs House, 
It was actually built in 1853 and it's currently used for environmental research purposes by students at Western Michigan University. It's such a gorgeous day out and you can see that there is some construction going on. So we're going to take a right onto this street, which is Greenleaf, and we're going to go into Parkview Hills, which is a planned urban development. And it's one of the first built in the United States. This too has a lot of green space. There's over a hundred acres of undeveloped land and residences really do get out and walk. They have the walking trails and the paths. And then they have tennis courts. There's a clubhouse with an indoor and outdoor pool. Condos are in here. There's apartments and residential homes. But there is also a really, really great restaurant. So if you like American Italian flair, you have to try Martel's. That's a fine dining restaurant. It's open to the public. It used to be called the Black Swan. And it's it has beautiful views of the lake and it's a gorgeous setting in the summer on their outdoor patio. So I'll pull in here so that you can see what Martell's looks like. You can see it's pretty busy and oop, look out people, <laughs> I'm coming through. The amenities in this community really make you feel like you're at a resort. There's like four tennis courts, pickleball courts, an exercise room, library, sauna. There's over seven miles of walking trails, a private beach on Lake Hill and Brook with boat and kayak rentals, fishing, playground and basketball courts. So it's just really, really cool. And there's a homeowners association and monthly dues include um, water, sewer, snow plowing, landscaping, and use of the clubhouse. So now we're going to take a right on to Parkview and we're going to head over to Oakland Drive, but I'm going to point out a couple of neighborhoods on the way. To the left is the Oakland Winchell neighborhood and homes in this neighborhood average around 300,000 and that's for a 1,700 square foot home on about a third of an acre. You can get a two bedroom, one bath for around $145,000 and $425,000 will get you a four bedroom, two bath home. Over on the other side of the street on the right is the Oakland neighborhood and these are more in the lines of a starter home. The average sales price in this neighborhood is around $140,000. That'll get you a two bedroom, one bath home or a four bedroom, two bath will cost you around $200,000. DNW Fresh Market is up here on the right. It's a more upscale market. It's definitely the best place in town to get fresh fish. It's not too big, but there's a wide selection of bakery items, especially Kalamazoo's own Sarkozy's uh, breads. There's a deli counter. There's also a Starbucks inside. So we're gonna turn right on Oakland Drive. There's Woods Elementary on the left, which is a magnet center for the arts. Uh, they participate in A-plus school programs, and it has an arts program supported by the Arts Council of Greater Kalamazoo. Over on the left, we're coming up to the Kalamazoo Country Club. That has an 18-hole championship golf course. There's a swimming pool, heated tennis courts, um, and you can actually play on those all year round. There's an on-site daycare for children of members. There's quite a few dining options available and membership ranges from $85 to $450 a month, depending on the package that you choose. We're coming up to Angling Road, which is where the construction sign is. And that's another community over to the right, which is the Hill and Brook neighborhood.
Over to the right is Nature's Way Preschool and at the stoplight we're at Kelgore Road and that is the official line where we cross over into Portage. The most people consider I-94 to be that dividing line between Kalamazoo and Portage. I'm gonna turn in here and we're gonna go into the preserve, which is a private road and I'm not supposed to be going down there, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> um, the preserve is a private luxury community of custom built homes that back up to the woods and the West Fork of Portage Creek. They're anywhere from like 600 to over a million, but they're beautiful homes back there. Now we're coming up to I-94. There's a park and ride over here to the right. And I can just tell you that Kalamazoo is an ideal location because we have access to the large cities and the surrounding communities are all within like 15 to 20 minutes of each other. Thanks for joining me on my tour. Please let me know what you found useful in this video and post it in the comments below. I'm Janice Allen, your Michigan homegirl at Jakeway Realtors in the greater Kalamazoo area of Southwest Michigan. Thanks for watching.